All right, well, welcome to our fourth in a series of how to use the Kansas State Budget Generator. In this segment, we will look at how to combine budgets to develop things like a irrigated crop budget or maybe looking at a case of uh, wheat, maybe wheat and double crop soybeans have that as, a, as an enterprise budget here. So let's switch over to the, and again, this, this tool is uh, funded by the USDA NIF Organic Transition Grant that helped provide funding for this. Okay, so let's move over to our budgeting tool and let's look at how you would actually combine budgets. So what you would do is you want to, let's say, go back to my test budget I talked about in the last video. And let's say we want to add an irrigation component for that. Now remember, when you add irrigation, you probably want to go back and, and then change the yields and such to reflect higher yields and such. But if we were just going to get the same yields and we just want to add irrigation to it, here's the process you would go about that. Let me first look, maybe look at an actual irrigation budget so you can see what's going on there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and change back my range so I see all the budgets again. All right, so the irrigation uh, uh, budget parts, and again, the only thing they have in there is the irrigation parts. I have several already in there because they're using our default Kansas State crop budgets here, but I have basically Western Kansas irrigation, you see, and they're all in the 900 range, by the way. Um, I have Western Kansas irrigation uh, from anywhere from 8 to uh, 16 inches, and I have Central Kansas irrigation from 8 to 13 and a half. It's pretty simple to make these. I'll show you one. It's pretty simple to uh, duplicate another one here. So let's just look at maybe Western Kansas 15 inches of irrigation. Okay. And again, this is just the irrigation component only. So really, since we're actually, we're, all, we're always going to combine an irrigation budget with another crop budget. So from that perspective, we don't really need a lot of the stuff that goes into here because this usually drives the header line on the budget reports. And since we actually have a crop we're going to associate with that, we'll get that from that particular budget. All right. So, uh, and again, there'll be nothing, really nothing to fill in on the basic. The product side really has nothing either since we're just looking at irrigation parts only. Same with the inputs, machinery. But this is going to be the one place where you actually will use an irrigation part of that. So here's where that comes into play. And again, this is really going to be the only part of the budget that um, we really need to worry about here. So you can see there's three components that make up the irrigation thing. We have uh, basically the type of... Um, irrigation system and I think all the budgets we use here in the state are, are center pivot so we would select that then we would select and again the next two parts are going to be based around the area of the state so we either have a western part or a central Kansas part and that, a lot of that has to do with the well depth so uh, we select in this case we have a power unit and meter that we have here and then we have the well pump and gearhead and again this is the one part that where the acre inches is really going to come into play because that will drive the cost so you don't really have to necessarily have acre inches for these first two components but when you get to the well pump and gearhead uh, item on the budget that's going to be important because the number of inches will determine the actual cost so by putting 15 inches here that affects the amount of fuel used uh, re re repair and maintenance, labor cost, and capital recovery. And this will change as we change in uh, different amounts of acre inches. So this is built into our budget generating tool is kind of that one uh, irrigation spreadsheet. Some of you guys may have seen that that drives the, uh, the cost uh, per acre for different, de left, different depths of wells and how much water you're pumping. So again, these are all the things that feed into the irrigation side. And really the only other thing you probably need to do then, in addition to filling the irrigation thing is, is also go back to this, this budget combo page and make sure that the budget you're working on, in this case is budget number 900, is actually showing up over here. If not, just come down here and, and click on it and, and make sure it's, it's over here in this part. Okay, that's really all we need to do for the irrigation thing then. So we're, again, we're going to combine, this is never really going to be a standalone budget. We're always going to combine it with something else. So if I was going to go back and, and take my budget that I was uh, playing with last time, this test budget, and add the irrigation component, it's a pretty simple process. So I, you know, I have all the stuff I had in there before. 
And now if I want to make this into it, let's just call it instead of a test budget, let's say, well, now I really want this to be uh, irrigation, test irrigation. And we're, we would, this was a budget was actually about wheat. So let's just call it a test irrigation wheat budget, something like that. Okay, so again, the, this is all about wheat here. So we want to add irrigation to it. Uh, we don't really worry about trying to add the irrigation part here, although you could. But I have developed a separate irrigation side that I want to add specifically to this. And we do that basically by doing this budget combination. So right now I have my regular crop budget part of it right here that has, you know, the product, the inputs, the machinery. Now I want to add the irrigation budget that I have developed. So we can come down here and pick the appropriate irrigation budget. I guess I said this was originally southeast, I think, wheat. So let's go ahead and pick a like a central Kansas irrigation. Let's say we want to put eight inches on. And we'll combine those together like that. Now, basically, whenever we go to the reports and print this out, it will actually combine that wheat budget with the irrigation budget into, into one budget. It will aggregate everything together. So let me show you what that might look like. And we will use the executive summary, which is kind of the middle range here. So you can see it has all those things that we had done before. And now in addition, it has, go ahead and it adds the irrigation components to this, both the variable cost and, and fixed cost down here. And now we, and it also adds some information about how much water we applied and, and the depth and those kind of things here. So that's basically how you kind of put two budgets together. Um, I was kind of thinking long term with that. Right now I use it mainly for doing irrigation budgets that combine a, a standalone irrigation with a crop budget. But for my mind, you could almost look at it as uh, maybe doing a whole like a whole farm analysis and combining different budgets together. So I think there's a lot of potential down the road to take advantage of this ability to combine budgets. So that'll be it for this this section about uh, looking at combining budgets together.